I'm here with Tara Tallon uh, to talk about her book, Galaxion. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. It's been a really good show. How did you first get interested in making comics? Oh, um, my first comic I made back in 1993. This was originally a story that I wanted to do as a novel, but I'd always done pictures to go with it. And I had actually always been a comic book reader, but it didn't occur to me until someone said, hey, you know, you got the story, you've got all these pictures, why don't you make a comic? So I said, okay, I'll give that a try. And that's what I did. I started out making mini comics. I took them around to local and, and even far away comic conventions. Decided I was having fun. I moved into uh, print comics, the floppy comics that were distributed through Diamond. And now I'm on the web. Uh, were there any artists or writers that inspired your work? Oh yes, absolutely. For comic artists, uh, ElfQuest by Wendy, Peeny, Wendy and Richard Peeney. They were big inspirations. Um, also, Colleen Duran, who did A Distant Soil and a bunch of other stuff for other companies, but A Distant Soil was, was her own creation. So they helped to inspire me to say, you know, hey, women are out there doing comics and, and I can do them too. Can you tell our viewers at home a little bit about your book? Yeah, it's about the, it, it's a science fiction story. It's about the crew of the Galaxian. They're testing out their brand new hyperdrive engine and they're just, they discovered that it didn't really work the way they expected it to and then have to deal with the mess. It's a character driven story, so more about the characters' lives and relationships and the stuff they're going through rather than about the ships or the space battles or anything like that. It's, the Galaxian is a, a science ship, they're not military, so they're um, just trying to, to deal with it without the guns. Very Canadian. What was the inspiration for Galaxian? When I was growing up, I watched um, a lot of the, the cartoons back in the day. Back then, we called them Japanimation. Now that we know them as anime. The two that really inspired me were Star Blazers, although in Japan it's known as Space Cruiser Yamato, uh, Robotech, which in Japan is known as Macross, I think, and um, ones of that sort. And I watched those. They were the first shows that I had seen that aimed at kids that had a long story arc. Everything else was like Scooby-Doo. It would have a little story and then at the end of the episode it would reset and be back to the beginning again for the next episode. And this one, I remember running home from school to get to the next episode and find out what's gonna happen next. And I thought to myself, I wanna tell stories like that. So that's what I did. And I see that you're working on book three now, right? I'm, at, I'm working on printing book three. Online, I'm already well into book four. So uh, book three is ready to go. We're doing an Indiegogo campaign to help pay for the printing and hoping to have that done really soon. And, uh, where do you plan on taking the series in future books? I do have the story all plotted out. I know where it's going. Although the fun thing about doing this as a periodical story is that you can always change your mind on the way. <laughs> but. There's a lot of fun stuff that I have had in the back of my head for years. I can't wait to get to it. I'm looking forward to telling the story of, of all these characters. And finally, where can people find you if they want to check out your work? The easiest place to find me is on my website, galaxiancomics.com. I'm um, also appearing at Fan Expo this year. I'm going to be at SPX in Bethesda, Washington, and CanCon back in Ottawa in October, I think. Of well, thank you very much for talking with us, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. Oh, I will. Thank you very much.